summer's coming. Thank God. There's three of them. Tool of choice, packs up. One down. Two to go, four cuts. That was the thing. One to go. All set. Got all of them off. So windy. So all the stuff to install the wheel drive. For a six spoke wheel like I have, I need a quarter inch bit. Bam! That's the ticket. What they want you to do is drill out the holes that have a six. There's a six, there's a six. Match up the arrow on the top with the key keyway. Drill out all the sixes if you have a six stroke. So this is how they want you to mount the pedestal. Or the wheel to the pedestal. So there's a hole right there. They want that hole to line up with the pedestal. Alright, so they want you to take this thing and it goes right in this hole right here. But you gotta cut it so that it will fit. You have to trim it. You have to trim it, see? Good. I like how the motor just kind of tucks right in to the side and then you get that lever that's real easy to grab right here. 
on the corner. Nice. So I got halfway through cutting this thing and had a catastrophe. But I'm smart. I shortened this thing and now I'm gonna drill a fucking hole. Wow. Finally cut it. That was sucked. So that's tempered steel. I wasn't able to drill a hole in it. Should have known that. So I taped it and then I cut it. Alright. Once you get that peg in the right spot. I just want to mark the holes. Let's rig. Windy out there. No boats. Still. No one has their boat in. I'll still shrink her up. So Nick wants me to install the autopilot. My boat is an absolute mess. My messy boat. So, so no. recording because it's cool. Whoa. It's hard to hold the camera and not drop the iPhone. If you look, this thing isn't exactly level. It's like two degrees off, it looks like. So I think that's the best we're gonna get. Can 
You can see the boat rocking. Coming and working. It's not always easy, especially in these cramped little places, spaces on a sailboat. It just takes time. Time I'm not willing to invest. So, I'm sorry that you can't watch me screw this in. Like, who gives a shit? Still watch me struggle. My facial expressions are probably more entertaining. This fucking thing. Oh, this sucks. Screw in, you piece of shit. Oh, come on. You too good for your home. This gets wicked tight at the end. Great. Things are gonna hit me. Okay. Don't be a shithead like me. Says mounts within five degrees, three is good. That is a double negative. But it's a good double negative. As opposed to no, not just a repair pick. That's what
ECU. <laughs> well, I don't think it's going anywhere. Make sure it goes all the way over. Sometimes when I was doing it, I wasn't putting them in all the way. Probably every time. There's two clicks. You want second click. Sometimes I only did one click. Could create problems for me later. It's freaking windy. Glad I'm not on the mooring. Wow. This looks like a mess, that's because it is. If you want more in-depth information on the wiring process and how to set up each individual component, I suggest starting with the first video of the Navionics and Raymarine playlist. And you can find that at the top of this screen on the info card and that's a good place to get started I started filming this video way back in March and on into May and it's now July as you can tell by my hair so I'm just getting to publishing this now and we're continuing to prep and prepare for our passage south we are leaving uh, third week in August uh, for Fort Pierce. So get ready for episodes. <laughs>